Hey everybody, I needed to talk about this Brent Key interview that came out the other day because it is pretty wild. Now, you know, with Jeff Collins, we were used to these boring interviews where he says the same thing over and over again. He shows no emotion. He has the same monotone voice. And this this interview here with Brent Key that has just come out, this spring press conference, is is crazy. From start to finish, it is it is just wild. Brent Key, it was really on one uh, the other day when he came out with this, when he did this freaking interview. And I, I just got to talk about it because I was blown away. So first of all, obviously, you know, everybody knows from this interview the whole thing that Brent Key did with the message towards the tragedy in Nashville. And he, you know, basically had a call from action. This was a move that was, is widely been regarded. And it didn't matter who you're a fan of, everybody, including myself, of course. I really appreciated what Brent Key had to say about the situation. And, you know, it, it, he basically just had a call to action. Uh, check this out. If one person hears me say that and agrees and does something to help force a change and something to happen and a thousand other people say something negative about it, I don't care because it worked. And if this one thing I say could help somebody else say something and have the guts to stand up and say something and maybe somebody the guts to stand up and do something, then maybe something will happen. You know, it's really cool that he is not afraid. I mean, he broke down in tears during this press conference, knowing that it would be seen by everybody, knowing that he's, you know, the head coach of Georgia Tech and that everybody's, you know, going to have this eye on him. He's, you know, brand new to the job and didn't care. He stood up for what he believed in and had a really powerful message to deliver. He says that, you know, his <clears throat> his mother was a school teacher and, hey, you know, he basically just called without without, you know, taking a stance on either side, because whatever stance of this argument that you're on, he you know, you can agree with what Brit Key's saying here. Obviously, something needs to change, whether it's on whatever side you, of the argument you happen to f fall on gun control. It something needs to change. And Brent Key, you know had a powerful message to say here, didn't care what anybody thinks. And it really resonated with me too, because my wife works in a school too. And that kind of stuff is scary and it's a real issue. And so Brent Key was just, he, he came out hot right off the bat talking about that in this press conference, which was, which was, it shocked everybody really. And, you know, moved on in the best kind of way that he could. He, you know, it was after all a football press conference. And so, a lot of people, you know, stopped there with the press conference. But, you know, besides that, this press conference was wild. Brent Key was really on one today. I think he was in some kind of heightened emotional state because you had just everything about this press conference was it was crazy. You had him. He, I don't think he let a single reporter finish a question. He would he would be constantly interrupting them. He would be making the worst jokes you've ever heard. There was a smoke detector uh, that needed its battery change going off in the background the entire time, and he and and he he stops to like yell. Uh, look at this! Like this is th this is wild. I I just gotta talk about this. Check this next clip out. Came in the office, talked to his mom, talked to him, and I said, "Leo, this is great news, man. Great news." Because now Leo's not just gonna get to graduate from Georgia Tech. Now he's gonna get to get a master's from Georgia Tech. And he's still going to chase every dream he had in football and, and be able to su succeed in it. So we're looking for the bright spot in that thing, and, and that, yeah, that truly is a bright spot in it that, that Leo's going to be able to do that. And So he comes out talking about this Leo Blackburn situation, which, oh, my God, Leo Blackburn is hurt again. And I had to make the same video two years ago in the 2021 season. He got hurt right before that, and it was a huge blow because he's this freaking awesome player, four-star player that, you know, he had the same ACL tear uh, two years ago. I made a video on it back then, and you know now I'm having to talk about it again. Uh, it's terrible, man. Leo Blackburn, he he got some playtime last year, and he did pretty well. He played, you know, got himself a couple touch touchdown or two, and and got himself some catches. And this year we were really looking forward to him breaking out, and unfortunately now he's looks like he's going to be out for the year but it was crazy the way that Brent Key talked about it because he sat down with Leo Blackburn and his parents and told him it was good news that this happened 
which you're like, what the hell? Which it's kind of it, like, obviously what he's saying is now he gets more time at the, you know, school. He gets more time to <laughs> get his master's degree now. And so I, I guess when you're looking at the silver lining, it's crazy. But I don't know. Rent Key comes out, says this is great news. Uh, just pretty crazy to me. I get what he was saying. Uh, but it definitely caught me by surprise. Uh, it's unfortunate, you know, that we're going to be freaking missing Blackburn now because he was looking, I, I was literally looking forward to him the most coming up this next year. And so, you know, then, then moving on from that, he's like talking, check this out, dude. This is, this is wild. Check this out. It was, uh, it was rusty as expected after having a week off. Um, It was uh, rusty on Monday, uh, so we, we, we challenged the guys. We knew it was going to be, so you, know, you can't get too upset about something that's expected to happen. It was the nature of the way the, the spring break fell. Quiet down! Thank you. Still works. Still got the O-line voice in me. Appreciate it. Um, dang, it really worked. Wow, that surprised me. Uh, so we challenge the kids, challenge the coaches. Isn't that crazy? He just freaking, <laughs> he's in the middle of like talking about something and, you know, and stops to yell at his freaking players. And it's like, dude, what is this? This guy's freaking a little bit insane. I mean, I like it. I freaking love the energy. I mean, he stops to yell at his players like, He's just, he's just a wacky guy. I don't know what the hell. And, like, it, it's weird because he's, like, got this, such this, like, awkward energy where he, like, he, like, dwells on it. And he's like, oh, I didn't expect that that, you know, actually work. I don't know, man. It's just very, it's very weird. And Brent Key is, uh, he, he was definitely on one. You know, uh, check this out. He was definitely not able to freaking, like I said earlier, let any reporters finish any questions. I have a couple examples here. Receiver position now. You've lost a lot of experience just with graduate guys graduating and now Leo getting hurt and James Blackstrain got hurt last year at the end of the last This is year. half full, not half empty. Next question. Sure. So there my question go. to you is uh, I guess kind of what are you oh, seeing from that group? Got your Let's go. Come on, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> What are you seeing from that group? And then Kevin Shearer talked about this with us the other day. Um, every well, day's a, what did I say? <laughs> every day's a new first. Uh, how has the chemistry been with that group, and how are they all working together? Chemistry made a D in it. <laughs> then thought I'd get the easy way and take biology. Made a D in it. It was hard. Chemistry was hard. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, Brent, Brent Key is pretty cringy, to be honest. I mean, I mean, his jokes that he tries to make during these press conferences are are almost unbearable. At the way that he freaking. Uh, jokes around with these guys and nobody like he gets maybe one or two like petty laughs out of the reporters and it just it's just crazy dude it, it's like but I think it adds to his like charm like I said like Jeff Collins didn't have any personality whatsoever he was like a salesman that would just constantly say the same thing over and over and he didn't you know Brent Key actually has I think it's I think it's kind of charming the goofy freaking like lame ass jokes that he makes and it's just it, it cracks me up and he's honestly being kind of a dick to the reporters like he won't even let him finish the question before he starts to answer and it's like dude i don't know what i don't know what brent key was like on that this day but i think i think just he was in this like heightened emotional state like he was just i i, I don't know what it was man but hey you know when you're looking at these coaches, you know, I, I think you got to be a little bit insane to be able to run one of these programs. Now, we don't know, obviously, if Brent Key has what it takes. You know, we haven't seen him with a full year to prepare. But it's like, you know, a lot of these top guys at the top or whatever, these coaches that run these programs are, are quirky themselves. Like, look at Dabo Sweeney, for example. Dude's a freaking... He's a freaking wiry little little freaking weirdo, you know? 
And it's like, I think Brent Key's kind of weird too, but I freaking dig it because like, I'm a, I'm a freaking weirdo too. I freaking, you gotta be like crazy to get on the internet, put yourself out there and put your face on the internet. You know, you gotta be a little bit insane. So they, you gotta have something that, that they don't to run a freaking football program. And is it, does Brent Key have it? I mean, who knows, but this is freaking entertaining. We haven't talked about the defensive side of the ball, but just I'm curious what you've seen through putting the pads on. Missed tackles on. today. Busting fits. Not setting the edge. Long runs. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. So moving on from the kind of weird and wacky things, um, I got a last couple points here about football, actually, that he talked about. And the past couple years, you know, in, Jeff, in the off season, we heard from Jeff Collins. We heard the same thing every time. Oh, it's completely different from last year. Things are going great. We're more comfortable. We're more focused instead of on, you know, instead of focus on the swag and, and, the, and everything else. We're focused on football. We're focused on winning. Everything's changed. We're doing everything differently. And it's, you know, it's all a lot better now. And I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know, like... You, you hear this now, and they say all the right things in the off season. But when it gets time to the season, Jeff Collins, the teams look the same. They would say all the right things in the off season to get me thinking, hey, maybe they actually have changed and realized some of these problems. And that was always the same. Now, I'm 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 hearing this from these guys too up until this point, and I was thinking. You know, I want to get excited because, well, the difference between Jeff Collins and Brent Key is Brent Key's actually shown us something. He's shown us improvement. But, you know, I, at the same time, I'm a little bit jaded on these on these off-season press conferences where everything's rosy, everything's going great, everybody's more comfortable, the game's slowing down. You heard, We've all freaking heard it from Collins before, and so I'm a bit jaded on that, big skeptical. But this stuck out to me. This stuck out to me. Because he said, no, it's going horribly on defense. He said, we have a lot of work to do. And so I was like, okay. Well, first of all, we knew that we were going to have to we, – we had a great defense last year. If you're a non-tech fan and you're watching this, you're like, what? Y yes, okay, just trust me. We had a great defense last year. There's only so much you can do. I know we got blown out a couple times. Only so much you can do when your special teams uh, sucks and your offense sucks and you know the, the other team gets the ball at the 40 and 50-yard line. Our defense was great. We're having to replace a lot. And the fact that he is, you know, besmirching almost the freaking defense in their performance here, uh, it, it, it gets me excited a little bit, actually. I think that, you know, that's a good sign. If you're tough on them and, and you know, you're trying, to, you're trying to be hard on them, it pushes them to be better. And that's really cool that uh, I think he said that in a press conference, too and said that, you know, missed tackles and blown coverages and whatever else he said, setting the edge and stuff like that, that his criticisms of the team, constructive criticisms is, uh, is you know, how you get better. So that was something that stuck out to me that was really cool that I actually liked uh, that he said. And then we got one more thing here. I'll ask you about special teams, and, and you have a new special teams coach, and yeah. just kind of, I know you, that's not a hyper-focused thing yeah, it is. all the time. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah! You, you, oh, you're wrong on that one. So so you guys are going hard on special teams? Yes. This okay. Yeah! We, have, we start off, the first thing we do in practice every day when we get out here is a special teams walkthrough. That is the A number one thing. The first meeting we have every yeah. day is a special teams meeting every single day. All right. Special teams walk through when we come through. We've incorporated within practice where normally you start practice and you go individual periods. We have an individual period that's strictly dedicated just to special teams every day. Then we have two more special teams periods within the practice. Uh, now it, it, it is it, it's, yeah. it's that gum important, guys. This special teams is not a down off. It is not to put your backups in. Yeah. Right, if you're good enough to be a starter on offense and defense, then you should be a starter on special teams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that, that, that mindset needs to change. Yeah. That does not take place here. Hell no. I don't care who you are. Unless you're the starting quarterback, you're expected to be on special teams. <laughs> That's music to my ears. Special teams was absolutely atrocious last year and pretty much the entire time under Jeff Collins. So the fact that he's saying that, I know I just got done saying, you know, you say the right things, but something tells me right there that he's not lying. Okay, something tells me that, you know, he's actually whipping these freaking guys into shape and a lot of the things 
that was a criticism of Collins was that he wouldn't play the best players. There was there was team there was certain position spots where he would put guys that that maybe you know that weren't the best for that position because they were you know somebody's son or you know because uh, some reason or the other somebody liked them more and 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 uh, this is freaking awesome here i have been pounding the special teams drum all off season because it was one of the biggest things that was holding us back this past year and i have no doubt in my mind that with our new special teams coordinator and brent key hammering at home like he is right there that we're gonna freaking have a great special teams and that that gets me really excited i freaking love that he said that I am so excited, and I freaking love Brent Key. Even if he's a freaking weirdo that comes on, cracks jokes, and he's a dick to the reporters, and he's freaking and he's wild, dude, dude, this freaking guy is my coach, and I would freaking go to war for him. Hell yeah, go coach Brent Key and go Jackets, and I'll see you guys next time.